Welcome back to the top 10 pickleball plays of the week. I'm Shay Underwood, and this is our best week ever. If you have a clip, send it in. Let's get right into it. At number 10 is Chris and Martin Robertson playing in the finals of a cash tournament at Newcomb Ranch. Here's a wide dink, and then a beautiful yeah. Ernie slaps that one down with authority. At number nine, we have a clip from Florida. Chris and Mark on the close side taking on Chip and Jess on the far side of the court. They're gonna get into a long hands battle. This one lasts a while, but there is some crazy stuff that happens here. Check this out. There's a behind the back and follows it up with a put away. And remember, this is only number nine. They're gonna get so much crazier. What a point. Coming in at number eight is Justin Boos from Hatfield, Pennsylvania, playing with the Yola paddle closest to us. Barely gets that one off the net cord. Here's a couple of cross court dinks, and then finally the two handed backhand ATP right in the corner. Perfect. At number seven is Dean from Margate, New Jersey, breaking out some hockey terminology that I actually did not know, and you'll see right here five hole. That's when you go between the legs of the goalie. Oh, Amazing shot. At number six is Mike Vaughn in a Selkirk shirt. Closest to us, showing us his creative side. Check this one out. Here's a dink cross court. Gets lobbed. Can't quite get to it, but slaps that one down the line without even looking. What? Let's go! It ain't easy being me. <laughs> We're in the top five now and things are getting wild. Here's Roman Lancaster playing singles against Jacob Dunin in Hot Springs, Arizona. Somehow manages to get that ATP to go around the post and in and then actually hits a cross court for the winner and he goes crazy, as he should have, well deserved. At number four is a fan favorite from Rochester, New York. Paul Valenti playing with Dave, Eric, and Andy. Paul hits a strong cross court dink, sees his opportunity and hops the corner to hit an Ernie overhead. Then he dives to get that ball. This is match point. He's putting his body on the line. There's a reset and finally puts it away with the overhead. There's another one, Shay. Two in the top ten, baby. This top three is insane. Here's Drew Keister playing with Andrew, Jules, and Diane. Drew defends the smash with a behind the back and wins it, but he's not done yet. A couple of points later and Drew is about to one-up himself yet again. Just wait for it, this shot is mental. Andrew hits a short dink and then slides middle. They get it behind him, but Drew's there, no worries. Gets that perfectly in the kitchen and then a behind the back to follow it up. Are you kidding me? This man is insane, a pure highlight machine. At the number two spot, we have two clips from Michael Hartnagel playing out of Indiana. This first clip is a singles match against Jeremy. Gets an easy overhead, but whiffs it. Saves it with the tweener. We've all been there though, right? Nope. Okay. Nice two-handed backhand. Sets up another overhead. Doesn't whiff this one, but he's not done yet. One more clip playing doubles this time. His partner gets lobbed, so Michael goes back to get it. Two-handed backhand. His partner stays down, and then a jumping tweener to win it. Watch out, Kevin Wong. This guy's taking your shot. This number one clip has a couple of the most baffling pickleball shots that I've ever seen. We're at the Gamma Classic in the Men's Open Pro 50 Plus Division. Speed up, saved by behind the back, and then an overhead saved by another behind the back. How is that possible? And then finally, a shot down the line placed perfectly in the corner to wrap up that point. One of the best pickleball plays of all time, no doubt. Wow. If you've got a clip worthy of the top 10, check out the description for instructions on how to get that to me. Typically, a YouTube link works best. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos and remember to subscribe and I will see you next week. Peace.